We are entering the hot phase of the tournament. Um, day two is just one day left. And so the calculations, as I said yesterday, it's to get it clearer and clearer the picture, um, at least for who qualifies for the second round. And yeah, yesterday we got a bit clearer picture with Germany's win over Sweden. Um, the question is, how likely is Sweden, Mexico, Germany to qualify for a second round? Did Belgium's win have any impact? Um, also want to say that um, I could not find yesterday the updated ELO ratings um, and same uh, therefore the ELO ratings and the FIFA ratings didn't get an update um, and I had the same problem the night before with the Switzerland Serbia ratings. So Switzerland improved now a little bit in my calculations and um, the ratings for Germany, Sweden, Switzerland, Belgium, Tunisia more or less stayed the same. Um, so once those ratings are updated, which is probably today or tomorrow, you will see some slight changes there as well. But um, they're all of minor nature. It's usually it shows most in the ranking of who is most likely to win the World Cup. So I just wanted to get that out there. Full disclosure, I'm not hiding anything. Uh, and it's not that the reason that uh, teams that are winning in the evening game get a little bit more of a boost to this uh, later in my calculation is just because of that because sometimes the standings are not out and they're only updated in the morning well but let's get right to the calculations so here we are with the updated stand standings about who will win the world cup and one warning ahead if you hear some kids noise in the back it's my daughters having fun playing ups upstairs and i thought i used this moment of relative peace to make this video and we are all the adults are trying to get a few things done while the kids are playing. So here we go. Um, Brazil is top, but with Germany's win, their probability of winning dropped slightly. Same as with Brazil winning yesterday, everyone else is dropped. So there are always uh, effects if one team is now projected to go further. And with Germany's win, Germany is now uh, projected to go on and also to most likely play Brazil in the next round. Uh, Belgium's rating has not yet improved, so that's why they're probably still behind France. It remains to be seen. Maybe uh, Belgium might not overtake France, maybe they will. Uh, not uh, much change is here um, in 6 to 8. We have uh, Switzerland now on top of Argentina because I got the updated rating. Uh, but uh, you see the differences are very minor. Um, also Mexico's win put them ahead of Denmark. Uh, and Sweden's loss pushed Senegal in the top 16. So for the first time since I'm doing these standings, we have an African team in the top 16. Um, who fell? Well, Tunisia fell now to the back of the ratings since they lost and are close to elimination, which made Panama rise. Uh, this might change after today uh, when Panama loses to England and both these teams will not only go uh, out as being eliminated, but will go to the bottom of the standings. Other than that, I don't think there are too many changes uh, to talk about here. So let's look at the projected tournament. Groups A through D, uh, not many changes. E, uh, it's now a little bit more likely that Switzerland will qualify since Serbia's rating dropped and Switzerland's increased. Um, group F now is the interesting one. Um, we have still Mexico ahead because they have six points, but now Germany uh, is ahead of Sweden. Uh, still, Mexico has a higher chance of qualifying than Germany and Sweden uh, due to the virtue of having more points. Um, it is good for Germany uh, that Mexico still has something to play for, so that makes this group uh, still open and interesting. And probably Germany, uh, even Germany's path is even a little bit easier because Germany uh, just needs to take care of their own business and hope and wait and see what happens in the other game. Uh, group G, um, Belgium more or less qualified, uh, thanks to, to the win. It's really hard to push them out with that goal differential and the way the things are going. If England wins today against Panama, uh, England and Belgium are already through to the next round. And no changes, Group H. Slight, slight changes here in the projected bracket. We have Germany back in and now they're playing Brazil. So this would be a monster matchup in the second round if that really happened. And I'm not sure how easy Brazil will would go in there. I have a feeling that they might want to kill Germany and get revenge for what they did four years ago to them. 
but I also can see both teams being really, really nervous about this matchup. So I still have Brazil slightly favored to go through and play against Belgium. Uh, anything else remains the same. Brazil, France semi-final, Brazil in the final. And on the bottom half of the bracket, uh, also no changes from yesterday. We still have a Spain, England semi-final and Spain in the final against Brazil. With Brazil getting a little bit less favored uh, as the tournament progresses, but very, very little. Well, let me know what you thought about this, what you think about this rating standings, and I will talk to you soon. If you enjoyed this video, please hit like and subscribe to my channel. If you've already done so, I would like to thank you for your support. It is very much appreciated. Also, check out the accompanying blog at the link provided in the description below and at the end of this video. Thank you for watching and until next time.